What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we're going to check out Triple H and Stephanie block Vince McMahon's WWE sale. And also, AEW wants to buy WWE, possibly. I've been seeing a lot of rumors of that as of late that AEW, Tony Khan, may be trying to, well, not just only Tony Khan, but him and some other affiliates may be wanting to try to buy WWE. We're going to check all this out, man. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel, man. Let's get right into this one, bro. What's going on, guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including Stephanie McMahon and Triple H blocked Vince's sale, SmackDown losing money, spoilers on Royal Rumble returns, mm. AEW interested in buying WWE, this is Sting's final run, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling yeah, I'll videos. Definitely subscribe to WrestleMania Facebook if you haven't already. Players. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Now let's see the intro and get straight into our first news. Now first we looks at Stephanie and Triple H blocking WWE sale from Vince. As the wrestling world continues to talk about WWE possibly being sold, a report is coming in that Stephanie McMahon and Triple H oppose the sale. Mm. Axios recently reported that sources told Axios that Stephanie McMahon and her husband Paul Triple H Levest, the company's chief content officer and retired professional wrestler, had opposed a sale. The story is especially interesting in light of Stephanie McMahon's resignation as WWE's co-CEO. You may recall that when Mr. McMahon returned, he said WWE has an exceptional management team in place and I do not intend for my return to have any impact on their roles, duties or responsibilities. Mm -hmm. It's easy to argue that wasn't the case as Vince installed himself as WWE chairman shortly after his return. Yeah. Add in Stephanie's resignation and you have to ask if Triple H will take a sudden leave of absence. Why would Stephanie and Triple H want to veto a WWE sale? Are they concerned that Vince McMahon would return to running the company? More specifically, was there concern Vince would want to run creative? Next up, McMahon. Mm, very interesting. And also, there's an update. I, I believe Stephanie had to get surgery or uh, get something. I believe she ended up getting surgery to her ankle. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. I don't know if she sustained an injury, but she got some work done to her ankle. So wishing her a speedy recovery as well. But there's a lot of there's, there's some there's something going on uh, with the McMahon family, bro. I'm telling you, this is like a storyline straight from the 90s. Who remembers the whole WCW Shane McMahon buying WCW storyline? It, it reminds me of that, except this is real life happenings and um, there's billions of dollars on the line. So it's going to be very interesting to see how all of this ultimately plays out throughout the rest of 2023. Family Feud. As previously mentioned, Stephanie McMahon's abrupt resignation from WWE has people talking about whether the WWE was one big happy family business. Hmm. According to Dave Meltzer, there was notable tension between Vince, Stephanie and Triple H. It was also conceded that she and Vince have issues in working together as family members and how Nick Khan was a buffer who kept things smooth between them as well as between Vince and Levesque, aka hmm. Triple H. If this story is accurate, do you think Triple H's days in WWE are winding down? I hope that's not the case. The rumors WWE's I hope that's not the case, man. <laughs> oh, no. I, I really hope Triple H is not the next one to leave. But I don't know, bro. It, it seemed like when Vince made his return forcibly, pretty much, it just, things just, it just went haywire. Things literally seem to have just gone chaotic as soon as he said, I'm coming back, whether you guys like it or not. Sale lead to morale problems. A Dave Meltzer is following up on previous rumors of the WWE's backstage morale following the talk of WWE being sold. Meltzer wrote in this week's Observer that the rumors are all over wrestling and led to a ton of concern among WWE talent hearing them. This included those working the live television taping for NXT where the mood was said to be very depressing as word got around during the actual filming of the show with the belief by many the story was true. Mm. As we discussed in our news video and our website, there are plenty of reasons for wrestlers to worry ranging from job security to their pushes. Back. Next up, AEW interested in buying WWE. The story in relation to WWE being purchased continues to evolve. Barron's, the sister publication to the Wall Street Journal and a subsidiary of Dow Jones & Company, is reporting as of today that AEW Shad and Tony Khan are interested in buying WWE. The story notes that whilst the Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund are more likely to purchase WWE, Shad and Tony are indeed in the running. Imagine if this actually goes down and the Khan family end up owning no their competition, way. even if there was no interest at all. 
it's got people talking about AEW. And that's the- crazy. I can never. Well, you can't. Bruh. <laughs> what we've learned, you can never say never. But I highly doubt this would. This becomes. It's not even about money now. Now it's about ego and pride. I highly doubt that Vince McMahon would ever sell to AEW, bro. They could offer him more than what the company's worth. I just don't. I think his pride and his ego would not let him do that. He can't be that self-destructive. Because I'm telling you this now. Him buying the competition, that's 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 a whole nother level of what the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like that would be probably one of the most shocking things ever. I mean, we thought Vince was ret- Vince retiring was one of the most shocking things. No. AEW Tony Khan buying WWE legit outright with I I don't even I don't even know how I would even initially react to some news breaking like that. I don't I don't even know. I would think I woke up in an alternate universe. That's the only way I see that ever happening. In some alternate parallel universe to ours tony khan buys wwe and vince mcmahon's cool with it but in this world in this in this universe vince would i I just don't see him ever he will sell to the saudis before he sells to tony khan but it's interesting to see them even try to throw their money into this hat that's into this whole uh situation it's crazy up smackdown losing money for folks in an interesting report on SmackDown's future, uh, questions arise who will air the show if WWE is sold and why it might not be an attractive asset. Meltzer discussed this in the latest Observer, including how the WWE could end up on prime television. Last week, sports business reporter John Aranda predicted that NBC2 would make a play to bring SmackDown back from Fox and put the show on NBC. Such a scenario, WWE with a weekly show on NBC would have been considered unthinkable, but mm. as television declines, SmackDown winning Friday Fox most weeks makes the WWE more valuable to other networks. Mm. Still, Meltzer noted that SmackDown does not turn a profit for Fox, but mm. at the same time, even in winning the night, SmackDown still fetches the lowest ad rates of any Friday night network primetime show at $47,000 per minute. God damn! If WWE <laughs> isn't sold, it'll be interesting to see if Fox feels it's worth the money to keep the blue brand. Next wow. up, Sting prepares for retirement. A time to follow up a previous report about when Sting is retiring. He discussed, whatever I do, I want wrestling fans to say, that was incredible. I don't want them to walk away going, that was embarrassing. Mm-hmm. I just want it to be a great memory and then to just finally once and for all say adios. The Stinger also admitted he's done something he wouldn't do, become a wrestler who returns from retirement time after time. Uh, I swore no. to myself, I'm never going to be one of those guys and I'm one of those guys 10 times over. Still, there's no denying that fans have embraced Sting's return despite him not being the same wrestler he was during his prime. That hasn't stopped him from trying and his in-ring performances have astonished fans even by making some sick dives. With his contract winding down, Sting said he's looking for a grand finale to send fans home happy and give them and him the send-off that he didn't get in WWE. Meltzer speculated that Sting's contract is likely ending at the end of the year and it would likely be in December since he started at Winter is Coming in 2020. You know what? I would love for him to get the proper send off. I don't know who would be the person to give him that send off. Um, comment down below. Let me know who do you think Sting's final, and I mean final, very last opponent should be. Um, it would be cool to see Sting and Darby go at it. I, I think uh, it gives the the mentor, you know, and mentee. Uh, I believe that's how you say it, mentor and mentee. Um, it gives that dynamic, you know what I'm saying? The the guy that's uh, followed in Sting's footsteps and, and has been mentored by Sting is now, you know, you know, pretty much giving Sting his very last match. I think that could be something very interesting. Let me know down below. Who do y'all think would be a very good fit for Sting to actually, uh, you know, have one last match with. Next up, some spoiler as we look at some rumored Royal Rumble returns. With the 2023 Royal Rumble just two weeks away, fans are speculating on what surprise returns they'll see at the event. 
PW Insider recently reported Edge is penciled in to return at the mm-hmm. Royal Rumble pay-per-view. He was last seen at Extreme Rules pay-per-view in October, losing to Finn Balor in an I Quit match. WWE Hall of Famer Beth Phoenix is also slated for the Rumble, we're told. Oh, yeah. also mentioned that Dewdrop should be back and that Logan Paul could return depending on the status of the injuries he suffered at Crown Jewel during his match with Roman Reigns. Logan Paul is absolutely being talked about in regard to an appearance at the Rumble as well, as long as his knee is rehabbed and he's ready to go. Mm. What other returns would you guys like to see at the Royal Rumble? Let us know in the I comments down like below. I would definitely like to see uh, Randy Orton there. Rest in peace, RK Bro. Oh That's no. bad news for fans of RK Bro, as Dave Meltzer is reporting a recent development on SmackDown suggesting Matt Riddle and Randy Orton won't be teaming again once both men return to WWE. Damn. McIntyre and Sheamus are now called the Banger Bros. A key question from that regards both Orton and Riddle as RK Bro, which would seem to mean there are no imminent plans for them to return because the WWE doesn't usually like to do names so similarly. There was a lot of concern regarding Orton's career due to his back issues. There are several reasons to think RK Bro might be finished, including whether Orton will continue wrestling and Riddle's well as policy man. violations. It was believed that two superstars would split up and feud, but at this point, fans will have to wait and see what the future holds for both wrestlers' singles careers. Would you guys like to see RK Bro reform if Riddle and Orton return? Let us know in the comments down below. I should. I would just like to be able to know if Randy Orton's good. If he's a, even able to wrestle again. That's what I really would, you know, be interested in knowing is if he can even go again. Because it would really suck if he had to just abruptly retire. That would actually suck. Because Randy Orton still can go he is still pretty good in the ring he can definitely give you a good match bro he still has in my opinion he still had a lot left in the tank so i don't know and matt riddle definitely has to work on his substance abuse and and getting that situated and get himself right in rehab before he can even think about teaming up but it may be it may be the end of rk bro as we know it man hello Next up, Gunther talks dream match in WWE. Oh, this should be IC interesting. champion Gunther has been on a roll ever since capturing the title, and while he'll have his hands full against Braun Strowman on tonight's SmackDown, he's also got a list of dream opponents for down the road. He talked with San Antonio's Express News saying, I think there's a big selection to be honest. Some of the best wrestlers in the world are in WWE. I'm really bad at naming dream matches, but I always wanted to wrestle Finn Balor. Ooh. AJ Styles will be a great match. Obviously, Brock Lesnar will yes. be fantastic. At some point, if John Cena is ever possible, that would be great. Roman obviously is there. Drew McIntyre is a match that I think could be very exciting for yeah. our audience. So I think we have a lot of really good scenarios and possible matchups, exciting matchups for our fans. Oh, yeah. Next up, CM. That list was great. <laughs> that list was fucking top tier. Finn Balor, AJ Styles. Um, the John Cena one would be interesting. I, I think John is, I don't know. If, I can see John and Gunther putting on a good match, but you never know. There's, you know, there's a possibility there. The Brock one, for sure. If anything, I would like to see the Brock one relatively soon because I know they'll beat the crap out of each other. Um, Roman one, I would love to see. Uh, Drew, I would actually like to see that relatively soon, too. I think that would be a very good, hard-hitting match, man. He... Gunther's been on a roll, man. I'm, I'm definitely loving what they're doing with him. He has made the Intercontinental Championship seem that much more important. So glad that they are doing right by him. So. Punk slams MJF. I think I is did CM see Punk this. Is responding to current AEW champion MJF, who recently posted a picture of himself with Pro Wrestling Illustrated's awards for Best Heel and Feud of the Year. MJF appears to have angered Punk because wrestling salted the earth taped over Punk's name when he posed with the picture. Punk replied to MJF's supposed <laughs> slight, saying, maybe find some tape for the ratings so nobody sees those either. Next up, Stephanie McMahon recovering from surgery. Stephanie oh, yeah, McMahon I was just talking about that. Surgery, as wrestling's billion-dollar princess recently updated fans on Twitter, we're wishing Stephanie a fast and full recovery. Mm-hmm. And finally, a legendary wrestler and promoter passes away. Last but not least, we're saddened to report the passing of legendary wrestler and promoter Johnny Powers, a.k.a. Dennis Waters. Johnny wrestled from the 60s to the early 80s, competing in the era's top territories, including the NWA, AWA, and New Japan Pro Wrestling. Mm. A successful wrestler during the territory era, he became even more successful as a wrestling promoter, operating the National Wrestling Federation and International Wrestling Association. Oh, okay. Mr. Powers died on 30th December 2022 at the age of 79 after a collapsed lung reportedly led to Damn. pneumonia. We Damn. haven't seen this one covered by anybody else, so we send our condolences to Mr. Power's friends, family, and fans. Rest in peace. There you have it, folks. Man. The wildest. That was that was nice of them. I didn't even know. I, I hadn't heard anything about it. 
So that was real nice of them to actually cover that. Um, rest in peace. Um, it's, it's just one of those things where, once again, you know, we say it all the time on the main page. You know, cherish your life while you can. Live it to the fullest. It seemed like he enjoyed what he was doing and he was involved in the wrestling community as a whole in the wrestling business. So, you know, I, I, I think that's truly amazing. And once again, rest in peace. Uh, but, yeah. Comment down below. Let me know, man. Do you guys ever think, ever, that um, AEW, Tony Khan, and his affiliates would ever be able to buy WWE? If there's a price that they could throw at Vince, that Vince would willingly sell his company to the competition. Do y'all ever see that ever happening? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have showed on the channel. And, of course, I am still the undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world. What are we talking about? Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.